What's going on everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints and I run a custom apparel printing company based out of my parents' basement. And today in this video, I'm going to take you along with me in screen printing a six color design from start to finish. So without further ado, let's get into this. First things first, we're going to go ahead and get our film positives, aka the transparency sheets, the separations, what you're going to use to burn the image onto the screen. So let's go print those. And just like that, we got these transparencies printed. Check these half tones out. Looking crisp. Let's do this. Right, and now the next step is to grab our screens and I'm just gonna go ahead and expose those films that we just printed. I'm gonna be using a 230 mesh for a majority of all six screens. So. Let's go expose. There's one of the separations. It's gonna do take the four sides and then stick it onto the screen. Align it up right there. Make sure it is laid flat. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna adjust my time to I'm gonna do 17 seconds for exposure. Throw it in here. Oh. And now we wait and then go expose. Once I do have it exposed, I bring it to my wash booth and rinse it with water. As you can see, the design is slowly starting to pop up. Now with half tones especially, I'm gonna go ahead and not fully wash this out yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet, let the emulsion and the water battle a little bit, weaken up the emulsion a little bit. So like 10, 20, 30 seconds, I'm just gonna let it sit with the water on it. And then I'm gonna come back with the pressure washer and knock those, um, the rest of the emulsion out. Now this is key, especially when you're doing half tones at least for me, this is what works, where I just let it sit and battle with the emotion and then it just weakens it up and then I can just get back in there and push it all out. Like now I'm just gonna get in there and push it. And just like that, we got a perfect exposure. The half tones and everything is all there. This looks fire now i'm not gonna bore you with the same repetitive me burning the screens for the rest of the five screens i'm just gonna go ahead and start exposing those and i'll see you in the next shot and before i start printing with these screens i'm just gonna do a post exposure just to make sure everything is there and the motion doesn't start to break down on me all right now that all the screens are dry let's go ahead and load it up one of the transparency sheets onto the palette and register the screens to this. That's just been working for me the best, so I'm just gonna stick to what worked. 
Now that I got it registered, let's go ahead and tape up these screens just to make sure no ink is escaping from the openings of the screen. All right, and I finally got everything ready. Everything is basically print ready. Now it's time. That doesn't mean it's production ready. There's a, there's a big difference. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some testing, make sure everything looks good. So I'm gonna load a test shirt on here and then do some testing just to make sure everything is registered. And if it's not, we're just gonna go ahead and tweak it up, get it registered. So first things first. I'm going to print my white uh, right here. I want to make sure it clears the screen. That's looking good. I'm going to flash my white. This is flashing. That looks good. Now for the direction, I'm gonna put this on first just to make sure. Check to see if everything is registered. So we're gonna print our second color. That's spot on registration. I'm happy with that. See, registration is pretty spot on, but you can slightly see the white. So I'm just going to move the black a little bit to the left, just a hair bit. So I'm just going to wipe this off. Now, that's the good thing about using this clear thing is instead of wasting so many scrap shirts, all you do is wipe this off. And then you just keep printing until... It's all registered on here. So I said I was going to move it to the left a little bit. So I see that. And that should be registered now. And now it's a little bit too much to the left. So now we got to... But honestly, that little bit of a difference... It isn't going to make much. But let's try to get perfection. This time I just moved it slightly. And that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to our lemon yellow. That registration on the bottom, it's good, but on the top, it is to the left a little bit. So we're definitely gonna have to fix that. Let's see what we can do. And 
that's spot on. Can't even see the white. That's perfect. When you're doing tiny micro registrations, you wanna just make the smallest movements, like just move it just a little bit. Cause if you move it too much, you're just gonna screw yourself over even more. Now we're gonna do the green. As you can see, the green is pretty spot on as well. I just gotta move it to the right, just a hair bit. Only downside about this is I'm going through these paper towels like it's nothing. But it's better than going through shirts. Let's see. Boom, that's spot on. You can't even see the white registration marks. That's perfect. Now we're gonna do the gray. And the gray was just perfect already. It's always a good sign. Whoa. Now if the red is perfect, that's gonna be Oh, red is perfect. Let's do this. I'm excited. Oh, my shirt didn't even move. Maybe I can just do it right on top. You think I can? Let's try it. The shirt didn't move this time. So our black goes first. I'm gonna flash between each one. Just a quick flash. Then comes our yellow. Our green. Oh, that's looking good. And then comes our gray. Oh, yes. That's looking beautiful. Wow. And then we do our red. Whoo! Wow. That's looking good. All right, y'all, check this out. Here's a side-by-side -side with the screen, the design itself on screen, and then the screen print that I just did. As you can see, that looks pretty spot on. This is the first screen print too, so it's only gonna get better when I adjust the pressure and everything. As you can see, I can go a little bit lighter on the gray, but that's looking beautiful. This is looking beautiful. I'm loving how this came out. I'm gonna do another test print, cover the registration marks, and do one final test print just to see how it comes out. And let's see how this goes. Oh, that's so clean. Check that out. Check that out, that looks so clean. I'm super happy with how this looks. As you can see the screen back there, this looks fire. That looks fire. It's time to begin full production, but first let's grab our shirts. Wow. So 
we got 50 shirts to do. It's all black shirts and then that design. So here's the stack right here. You know what time it is? You know what time it is? Let's begin full production. <laughs> Wow, these turned out so good. I'm beyond happy. I just finished them all up, and I'm stoked to see how they came out. They came out beautiful. I mean, it couldn't. I'm just happy. You know, you know when you screen print like a six color design and it all goes smoothly, and the outcome is just. It's such a good feeling. The high you get out of it, it's just, it's just different. All in all, what I'm trying to say is, just screen print is just a. It's just a beautiful form of art, and I really enjoy the process of screen print as I just took you guys along the whole process from start to finish, and you know how I am. I threw in an extra shirt for him, a gray shirt with the same screen printed logo, and this just fire. Let's go take a closer look at these. <music> heated up again i'm gonna go ahead and knock out another small job and bring you guys along with me this is actually a job for one of my subscribers nicole she reached out to me and placed a job for her design future in color so let's run a quick little b-roll and get this job done <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody check out this six color screen print as you can see i'm loving how this turned out let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this screen print let me know if you guys approve or disapprove and i'd love to hear and then that extra job that you know i gotta ship that out before the post office closes as well here it is This job right here, this turned out clean. Shout out to Nicole. She found me from YouTube and reached out to me and we got the job done. I got to ship this out to you before the post office closes, so I'm going to make this quick. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video of this six color screen print process from start to finish, from getting the transparencies printed, burning them onto the screen, exposing them, um, loading, I just went blank, loading the screens onto the press, loading the ink. There's just so much steps in screen printing if you haven't clearly noticed. There's still a whole nother step, and that's washing all these screens to get it cleared up so I can do other jobs. That's just a whole nother thing on screen printing itself. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is just me giving you all motivation to jump into doing multicolor prints. I know it looks scary, and it can be scary, but hey, I'm here doing it. I'm just jumping in. It might not be the most perfect. It might not be the absolute best, but I'm still trying and getting the job done. Anyways, if you're like me, I hate the separation part of screen printing. I just can't figure that part out. I just don't like doing it. And it just takes a lot of time that I'm not trying to dive into that. If you want to get separations done, here is my separator. He does some fire work. His name is Yoga, and he kills it. He He's a screen printer himself, so he's not just a graphic designer. He knows how to screen print, so he does separations based on screen printing, and they just turn out fire. As you can see, he did my last um, separations as well. He's been doing a bunch of my separations, and it's killer work. I highly recommend you check him out. His Instagram is right here. Message him, let him know I sent you, and he will get the job done for you in a beautiful, beautiful print. I guarantee that. Anyways, if you all enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, join the family, join the grind. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this print. Let me know. Just say what's up. How's your day going? And yeah. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out my Instagram page for my custom apparel printing company and embroidery at Aesthetic Imprints. Check it out because I'm posting on there daily. If you want to stay up to date with me, I'm always posting on there more than I am on YouTube. So I highly recommend you check things out because actually, fun fact, you're going to see the prints that I work on first on Instagram. Like right now, this print is already on Instagram and people have already seen it and I've already talked to some people on there about it. And yeah, this is going to be a YouTube video as well. But Instagram sees it first. Check it out. Always remember, no grind, no glory. And I'll see you in the next one.